This is King David for David and Goliath Music and this is going to be a brief tutorial that teaches how to make a snare roll. Now what we're going to do is open up a track that's already been made. It's a basic crunk beat. Um, I just put it together really briefly so it does need some work and what we're going to do is introduce a snare and here's the snare and we're going to make that snare roll at the end of a 16 bar loop and you can see your 16 bar loop is going to be here All right. now it shows 8 bars I call it 16 bars because it's 4 times 4 equals 16 so I'm going to play it for you Right at the end, we're going to put our snare roll. Now, uh, snare rolls are used big time in Dirty South, crunk music. They're also beginning to be used in a lot of the R&B music. So it's not just rap music that's using snare rolls. And if you want to learn how to use it in Fruity Loops, it's such a simple process and it's not hard to do at all. So let me show you how we'll do it. Okay? Alright, so let's go to our step sequencer. We're going to open up a new pattern. Okay. We're going to highlight the sound the drum we're going to use. You can use any drum that sounds good for a snare roll. A lot of people want to use the 808s and the 808 snare. I'm going to use uh, a snare from one of my collections. Okay. Now, the simple snare roll is simply because we don't have enough space to do it in the step editor we're gonna go to the piano roll now, I'll play what this sounds like I suppose we could use that if we wanted to but what I'm gonna do is open up the piano roll and we're gonna use we're gonna take our C5 and use that as our base and stretch it out over two bars okay all right when we do that we'll go back to our we can see that the whole uh, measure is filled in the whole bar it's only going to play once but what we're going to do is go to back to our step sequencer we're going to chop it up so now what we'll do is go up to piano roll options slide down to tools and then to chop and you'll see that it will give you all these different choices by turning or time multiplicator we can make it less or more see now here's what I'll do I'm going to close that. We're going to do that again, but this time we're going to pr press play. Go to chop. And we can see that it gives us choices. See? Okay. Now this one might be a little too close to the line, so we're going to cut that a little bit before the line. Go back to tools. Chop. Another thing that we can do is we can cut this in half. We're going to go to our cut tool, highlight. We're going to go to half of it, which is right at the one bar. Cut it in half. Okay. Now, then we'll go to our select tool, select that, and we'll just cut only that part. keep that okay select the next part tools chop like 
good job stop right there as you can see in the middle here there's some extra sound that we don't need so I'm going to cut that and line it up perfectly with the time let's pl press play and what if I want to make it fast so I want it to get faster each time I can do that I'll highlight what I want to make fast okay and let's break that in half There we go. You see? It just continues to break it down into smaller increments, keeping it perfectly in time. So now let's pl press play. See? It's that simple. All right. So now we want to tune this. Let's tune it. How are we going to tune it? We're going to go back to our draw tool and we'll just put our notes at the pitch that we want so I'm gonna do the typical cascading tune to I can highlight the whole thing move it as a group okay again highlight move as a group now let's listen to that you hear the difference all right I'm going to quantize this. Okay. Highlight, quantize. Okay. Press play. Now you might want it to be a different pitch. You can change the pitch to make it sound the way you want to do it any way you like to now what we're going to do is go back to the song and put put this pattern into the song it's pattern number four we're going to go down to pattern number four i'm going to rename it call it snare roll okay enter and we're going to put this at the end of the pattern now let's pr press play on the pattern hear the whole song together sounds really good um, there's other ways you can do that that is the quickest way to do it in foodie loops and if you have any questions please shoot me an email at kingdavid at davidandgoliath.com okay one love